Teddy. It's hot in here. Pro Box fans, Teddy Atlas. Teddy, just give me your thoughts on that one. Daniel Dubois beating Anthony Joshua. Just give me your thoughts on that one. <laughs> Listen, all week when I'm when I had to pick someone, I picked. I, I'm always honest. Got to be honest, otherwise you're nothing. I picked Joshua, but I said, don't, don't, don't discount the power of will. When a man has found himself, when a man has redeemed himself, when he wasn't worth two cents to people, two fights ago, when nobody, nobody, they, you could have bought him in a garage sale, and, and nobody thought nothing of him. And what does he do? He comes back, he fights Miller, he fights Herjavec, he redeems himself. And that fight, I said it all week, that he would have took those two fights for free. He would have took those fights for free. He, he, he didn't have to get paid in those fights. He was fighting for himself, for his soul, for the right to look in the mirror, for the right to feel like a man when he walked out of his house. And when a man finds himself that way and reconstitutes himself that way and feels strong about himself that way, he's dangerous. He's very dangerous. And his trainer, Don, deserves credit. His father, uh, Frank Warren, they all stood behind him. But his trainer had him believe whatever the history was with Joshua he had him believe in that he couldn't lose his fight he had him believe in that it was his destiny he had him believe it was preordained it was kind of like that you know the philosopher with the art of war the battle was won before you ever go out on the field he believed it was won already that he couldn't be beat and, and it came down to will versus skill and if you want to make it real simple chins Dubois, Dubois, the guy that we doubted, but, that, but, but we never doubted his chin. We doubted his constitution. He, we, can't, we doubted his fortitude. He showed the better chin. He got hit with right hands, but he handled them. And Anthony Joshua didn't handle them. He got hurt. And then at the end, flaws, flaws, flaws. Listen, Joshua's had a terrific career, but sometimes he stands straight up. We talked about that. He pulls straight back. Well, Dubois came in, caught him going straight, standing straight up, caught him, hurt him early on. And then at the end, when he was back, when, when Joshua was feeling better and showing hard, give him credit. And he was landing right hands, coming full. He got careless. He got reckless. He dropped his right hand for the right uppercut. Floor. Technical floor. And he left a hole for the right hand. The most important thing was the will of Dubois, the belief, the power of redemption. The, Dubois also connected Will with corrections, with technique. He used a jab this time that he didn't do against Herjavec. He came in behind the jab, a strong jab. That cleared the path. That kept him from eating right hands. That served as a defense for him to get in without getting caught big shots on the way in, without going through a bad neighborhood and getting mugged. Give him credit. He was ready in all, all areas. Teddy, thank you very much. Appreciate your time.